New tonight, body camera video from Milwaukee police is shedding new light on a death in police custody. The 26 year old man who died was found unresponsive in the back of a patrol car earlier this month. That says police were taking him to a behavioral health facility after Providence Milwaukee Hospital refused him additional care and called officers to intervene. Alma McCarty went through the nearly two hours of video for us. Alma, what'd you learn? Well, David, a warning to viewers tonight. Parts of this video are just very difficult to watch and may be distressing to some. The Milwaukee Police Department said in a release that they are sharing it in its entirety due to, quote, their commitment to the highest level of transparency. Police did blur portions of the video. They say to protect privacy of those not involved in the incident. On the night of December 12th, Milwaukee police arrive at Providence Milwaukee's ER. Hospital staff explain that a homeless man refused to leave. He was going to get a right to a homeless shelter, and then he refused to leave. Um, he was pleasant. He was um, conversant the entire time until right when uh, his discharge arrived. Jean Michael Descamps, seen here is that patient. He's been evaluated medically. There's no medical problems for him. Uh, this is a chronic problem. He's not thriving chronically, but um, there's no medical reason for him to be here anymore. Hospital staff heard on this body worn camera video telling officers that the state desk camps is in is all behavioral. Officers consider what to do and determine the jail won't take him. They plan to transport him to a shelter, moving him from the bed into handcuffs and into a wheelchair. Let's just wheel him over by the car. To the car? Yeah, to my rig. Okay, then, then I'll transport him out. Then the officer wearing the body camera goes back inside the hospital to pick up Desk Camp's discharge paperwork, capturing this interaction. Uh, why, are, why is he being released? He's doing an elective release. He walked in here. He walked up. He had. Okay. Uh, We're going to walk him to the front because yeah, we have no place to take him. Bus station is fine. We had him set up with a shelter, a cab to take him to the shelter, uh -huh. and he didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay here all night. And so that's how that went for him. It's not really a medical problem. It's malingering. It's not really a police yeah. problem. Yeah, it's not a police problem either. No, it's, it's not. It's a community problem. Leaving the hospital, Milwaukee police placed the 26 year old on a peace officer hold. Hey, Gene. Gene. Yep, I got it. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't look at me. The officers decide to take desk camps to Unity Center for Behavioral Health in Portland, about a 15 minute drive. But as they arrive, they find him unresponsive. I got one. Got one? I think so, yeah. Police pull him out of the car and begin CPR. Someone calls 911. Within five minutes, first responders arrive on scene. They refused care. More than 20 minutes later, Time of death on this is going to be 11.31 p.m. Jean-Michael Descamps passes away. Milwaukee officers can be heard expressing their anger at this chain of events and with the hospital. The supervisor's like, take him back in the hospital, and they refused him. So they were like, you're going to just drop him off at a bus stop, let him freeze tonight. I mean, he's not verbal, he's not talking, he's got in involuntary, involuntary drool. And they're like, no, nope, there's nothing wrong with them. It just pisses me off. That, that guy does not need to be dead right now. Providence says an internal review began immediately after Descamp's death and leaders at the hospital have already taken action, though they didn't say what that action was. In a statement today, they apologized to Descamp's family and said, quote, in this case, we fell short of our goal of providing safe, reliable, compassionate care to our patient. The statement went on to say on behalf of all of our caregivers at Providence Milwaukee, we give you our promise we will do better. Portland police, who are continuing to investigate this case, released the ME's preliminary findings earlier this month, which indicate that Descamp's death was likely related to a drug overdose with contributing natural causes. David. I mean, that video is so hard to watch for so many reasons. Alma, we really appreciate your reporting tonight. Thank you.